I can't read that. I'm farsighted, y'all. So seeing that up close, no. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have a palette to share with you that I really love um, into just kind of like a glossy, not over the top lip. I love this glitter I've got on my lids, wore it to a friend's birthday party and yeah, just some good things to share with you. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie, welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's, reviews, empty, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites, so let's get to them. Okay, so first off for eyes, Alter Ego sent me their Midsummer palette, and I love this. Look how pretty this packaging is. Here is the outside box and then here is the palette itself. I love how just kind of sleek and functional the packaging is, but look at the beautiful design. That is so pretty. It just, it just makes me smile. That's beautiful. So yeah, and it kind of matches the color story inside. I feel like you've really got some options with this palette. You can do like a, a bronzy, smoky eye with this. I love this color. This, I didn't really, I'm not wearing this right now. And this is not the main one that I wore, but I love this one. This is the main one that I wore. And then these two. So that's what I have on my eyes. But I love a bronze like this. Like just put a little bit of bronzer, like your cheek bronzer in your crease and then put this all over your lid. Easy eye look. So this is kind of like one of my favorite sort of shadow colors, just like a go-to. But this duochrome this duochrome doesn't look as impressive <laughs> right there as it does on the eyes. It's so pretty. It is like corally coppery, but then almost has a little bit of like a blue shift to it. I don't know. There's just something really unique and beautiful about it. And then the mattes are, they're a silky formula, but they are, because a lot of times I'm not a fan of silky, but these are pigmented silky. And, you know, a lot of times silky shadows, you kind of have to build them up. Um, it's kind of questionable if they're not going to be patchy or whatever. Whereas these are not patchy, easy to blend. They're pigmented. They're just really beautiful. I love this color story right there. That is beautiful. That's so pretty. But then there are other shades in here. I mean, you can go with like a more silvery, taupey color. You can even mix that with the warmer shades. So pretty. But that one right there. Ooh, see how it's got that almost like a golden green kind of duochrome. I was trying to think of what the duochrome is. It's almost like a, a gold that leans green. It is really unique and beautiful. But then you've got this one that's almost like a blue brown pigment kind of situation. The little lavender one in there, that's kind of unique and a little bit random, but it, it's pretty. It's a really pretty color. This one is Twilight. It's just, it's a good palette. It's really, really beautiful, great quality. I love the color story and I love this packaging. It's a good one. So Timothy and I went out of town for a friend's birthday party last weekend and for my eye look, what did I put on my eyes? I'm trying to think. I think I used the, I think I did kind of like a combo of like, my bronzer in my crease, um, the Laura Geller one that I've mentioned several times, and then I used the Kaja Peach Marmalade? Peach something. That little trio. I just mentioned it recently. I used that one on my eyes. Then I used this again. I've mentioned this so many times. The Etude House Tear Eyeliner in 04. So I have a little bit of this just barely on the inner corners of my eyes right now. Let me swatch it over here because I've already got glitter kind of going from the Alter Ego shadows. But there it is right there. I've mentioned this several times before. So I wore this to the party just right on my lids. I love this. It's just so pretty and light catching. It's amazing. It really is very versatile. You can use it as a liner or you can use it all over your lid. I've been using it pretty much all over my lid. Um, but today I have it kind of on the inner corners of my eyes. So just Quick little mention of this because I've already talked about it many times, but I'm still loving it. And the glitter on my lids. This is another liner. I love the idea of a glitter liner because that really gives you some good versatility. And I feel like you've got kind of more 
precision and things are less likely to go wrong because you've got this little tiny applicator versus like a big doe foot or something like that where you just get very limited product. So you can kind of like tap it on just as little or as much as you want. You know what I mean? So I feel like they're just really nice and versatile. So this is from Moira. I love Moira. So good. I can't read that. Pink Aurora, I think. This is one of their little glitter liners. I'm farsighted, y'all. So seeing that up close, no. <laughs> I think it says Pink Aurora. Um, and it's this really beautiful duochrome rainbow sugar plum fairy kind of looking glitter. It's beautiful. So the main kind of my dress I wore to my friend's birthday um, was kind of like pink uh, floral and so that was kind of and it had like some greens in it. So the base of this is there's quite a bit of pink glitter but then there's some gold and there's also some kind of um, green that's more on the gold side of green. So it's got a lot happening. But see how you can just kind of dab it as little or as much as you want. So just very versatile, really beautiful glitter. This wears very, very well. So if you want to play with glitter, but you're just kind of like overwhelmed by the thought of it, like, oh, what kind of a, do I have to do glitter glue? And do I put that on first? And then how do I stick it on there without it going everywhere? Something like this really makes it very easy to use, which I'm the same way. I mean, I've played with makeup for a lot of years. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I mean, I've played with makeup quite a bit and I still like something like this because it's just easier and less high maintenance. You know what I mean? So it's just easy to use. So glitter, glitter liner in, I think, Pink Aurora. It's the pinky one. It's good. I'm still into a bright cheek. I just love it. I think it's so fun. Yeah, so I'm still going for the bright cheeks. So this is one of the Almay Healthy Hue blushes. Broke one of these back out because I love them so much. This one is in, I have a really hard time finding the names on these. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out and list the name down below. It's either the more pinky one. I think it's the more pinky one, but like I said, I'll try to figure it out and list it down below for you because there's like a pink one and then there's one I think that's a little bit deeper. So I'll compare my other one and see which one this is and list it down below for you. Look how pretty that is. It is absolutely gorgeous, bright, fun blush. And when you're going to go with a bright blush, you want it to be a good formula that is easy to work with and not patchy. A patchy bright blush, that's bad. <laughs> this is so good. These are very blendable and they're buildable. So you can just get the tiniest little bit on your, br on your brush and kind of buff it onto your cheeks and just really kind of build it up as much as you want. So very, very versatile, really user friendly. And look how pretty this is. It's, I would say it's kind of like a, a coral, like a bright coral with some pink to it, but it has a little bit of a glow. It just looks so pretty and flattering on the cheek. So I have just a little bit of the Laura Geller bronzer, baked bronze and brighten and fair, just a tiny little bit of that. And then mostly just this. So just a bright, fun cheek. So apparently L'Oreal discontinued some of their lipsticks. I didn't know that, <laughs> but they still have these glow paradise lipsticks and I'm wearing one right now. This is Rose Mirage. I am just liking a glossy, not over the top lip right now, especially with the kind of brighter cheek. I like the idea of just a glossy, um, not maybe as defined sort of a lip color. So Pink Mirage, this is so pretty. So that's lightly applied. So I mean, you can really apply these very lightly or you can build them up and get more color. They're never going to be like full on. I mean, they are more of a glossy sort of a look. Now on my lips, it has a little bit more pigment because my lips naturally are kind of like a pinky mauve color. So you can kind of see like how this color applies to my lips. So yeah, there it is. It's just beautiful. It's this gorgeous glossy, I would say overall like a rose, but like a warm rose. 
Oh, it's so good. And I feel like it plays really nicely, especially with the eyeshadow palette, but also the cheek. So yeah, I'm liking all the warm colors. That's why I had to break out my um, orangey shirt that I got at the thrift store for, I think, two or three dollars. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget to say, so these Glow Paradise ones do have a little bit of the L'Oreal scent, like the traditional L'Oreal scent, that perfumey. But it's, it's pretty subtle. You have to get like right up next to it to smell it. But I do wish that it either had no scent or like vanilla or something like that. So, but it has beautiful packaging. It's very comfortable, really nice and hydrating. It's a great lipstick. That's the one thing I would change about it is I wish it had either no scent or more of a like subtle vanilla scent. All right, you guys, those are all my favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.